favorite tool to bring with me when I go out into any cornfield is a shovel. I want to do some digging and find out what's going on below ground. This time of year, one of the things that I'm looking for is corn rootworm feeding on the roots. Well, yes, it's great to talk about, but boy, it is a lot of work if you're going to go out and dig up rootworms. But you're just it saying is... that because you're imagining it being 100 <laughs> degrees and you're having corn. Yes, I in am. Here. Yes, I am. But <laughs> here's the whole thing. If you don't dig it up, how do you know if there's a problem? Here's how most people figure things out at harvest time. They go, well, my corn fell over at harvest time. I had a difficult time harvesting, so it must have been a rootworm problem. Okay, well, we can go dig stuff up now. You can probably see where there was some feeding, but you know what? Today, we can figure this out a lot better. So what you want to do is dig that root ball up. And what I like to do is I'll dig the root ball up and I'll leave the soil on it, and then I'll put it into a five gallon pail of water. And when I submerge that root, uh, and kind of shake the soil free, you'll start to see those little worms float to the top. Now I realize this isn't something you say, oh great, I'm gonna carry a five gallon pail of water to the middle of a cornfield and then start digging. No, I I'm not gonna do that either. I'm not gonna go in that far, nor am I gonna carry the pail out there. I'm probably gonna go dig the root and bring the plant back out of the field. But if you do that a few times, you're gonna learn some things. Uh, another good place to do this kind of root dig is with volunteer corn in your soybean fields. I talk to farmers every year that tell me, ah, oh, it's just an eyesore. I don't believe you that it's really robbing a whole lot of yield. And I say, okay, even if it doesn't rob yield, leaving volunteer corn in your soybean fields leaves a home for corn rootworms. So why don't you just get rid of them? And they're like, what? No, there's no corn rootworms out there. All I have to do is bring the shovel out in the soybean field and dig a couple of root balls up and we'll see corn rootworms there too. So it's something that could be a great learning thing for your farm and it could help you if you have somebody stubborn that you farm with that may not want to change their ways. Okay, even if you have rootworm resistant corn, you may have rootworms that they can tolerate that. They survive. So you still want to do some root digs there. You want to find out if you're having a problem. What you usually see in the upper Midwest is rootworms are in that rootworm stage during the month of June. Then they're going to change to the adult beetle. So later in the summer, usually around tasseling time, you'll see adult beetles flying around. If you see the beetles, you know you had the worms earlier on. That's usually what I do. But if you'd like to find out now if you've got some rootworm problems, go out and do some digs. I'm not sure if digging is the best way to control our Weed of the Week, but we'll give you some other ideas coming up next.